Welcome back everybody, this is Double Audio Projects here with an unboxing and initial review of the WL Toys 104001. What I'm going to do today is um, do an initial unboxing, see what's inside the package, I'll give my initial thoughts, uh, do a speed run, and give my overall impressions. So let's go ahead and do this unboxing. So for background information, I purchased this out of pocket uh, through Maker Fire. I participated in a pre-order sale, so I got this under 140. As of May 1st, I believe this vehicle is going for around 150. Um, they also mail this uh, with just bubble wrap and simple, pack simple packaging. But as you can see, it's very slight damage to the box itself. Uh, the vehicle should be fine inside. So first look at this, it's 45 kilometers per hour. It's a 2.4 gigahertz ready to run uh, four wheel drive. It suggests this is 14 and up. Uh, once again, they come with uh, the Mega Fire stickers. So let's go ahead and take a look around in the box. Let's go take a look here and some information on the side of the box here. It says it's waterproof, has adjustable shocks, optional metal spur gears and ball bearings. I'm not gonna test the waterproof of this vehicle, but my six year old may. So we'll, we'll see and uh, hopefully it'll survive. On the other side is some warning information in English and some other languages uh, for those who are interested. Then moving along here, turning this around, you'll have information regarding the batteries. It's 7.4 volts, 2200 milliamp. It only comes with one battery, so if you're wondering how many battery packs it comes with, it comes with one. So let's go ahead and remove the top of this box. The first thing you'll notice is the manual within this plastic bag. And within the same bag is a rear spoiler the battery charger, and additional tools. So WL Toys put some fr front suspension parts in this ESD bag. Not quite sure why. If you guys do, please put in the comment section. I, you know, just curious about that. So moving some of these uh, pieces that kind of hold the RC in its place within the box. Now I'm getting to the RC or the remote itself. So this is my first WL Toys. So this is the first time holding the remote. What I did notice is the black chrome center with the foam outside, which which is nice to the feel. I also noticed the steering and throttle trim to the front. It looks good, so I'm going to put that down. The car has a really good weight. Uh, I really like the, the combination of the metal and plastic. I like the body design, the red, white, and blue, like I said before. I uh, also like the white wheels. Kind of, you know, it all ties in together, even with the red... Red, red, the red shock towers and the silver accents with the gold uh, shock posts really kind of ties it all together. So what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to put this vehicle down. I'm going to move to a different table and just kind of look uh, in detail of what comes inside the box. The first thing in the box is the manual. Uh, everyone kind of skips through the regular jargon in the beginning and kind of goes through the end. And that's where the parts breakdown list is located. The descriptions are, are well uh, placed and the part numbers are also included. Uh, very helpful. All right, putting the manual to the side, the uh, next thing we want to take a look at is like a parts bag. So some of the parts included um, help mount the rear spoiler to the vehicle. So the next thing we want to take a look at is a battery charger. So this one's a USB style type of battery charger. I never really dealt with this uh, before, but I think it's going to become helpful, especially for those on the go. You just have to connect this USB cell like, adapter into like uh, a wall adapter or maybe even a car cigarette lighter. Once again, this is a 2200 milliamp battery pack. It only has one as a T-cell connector. Then you have your traditional balance port. Moving along, some additional tools here. We have uh, one tool to remove uh, the wheels and a Felix style type of screwdriver. Then here's additional part. Once again, this is the ESD bag. And this is actually some front suspension parts that are housed in this ESD bag. Like I mentioned earlier in the video, I have I really don't have any clue why WL Toys put this in this bag, but if you guys do know, please put it in the comment section. I'm just very curious. So here's me removing it from the bag. Um, it has no metal, so I'm not quite sure why it's in the ESD bag. Rounding off the parts is a rear spoiler with the same color theme. However, on the rear side, it's all silver for those who are just curious. Then once again, it's the Maker Fire stickers that come along in the box. So take a look in front of the vehicle. The anodized red shocks with the bronze color shock towers really make it kind of pop. 
I'm not quite sure if you can see it here, but there's three mounting positions. It comes mounted in the middle position. It does also come with oil uh, within the shocks. So here's me time testing it out. Then taking a look from the top to the bottom, um, you'll notice that you're you're able to adjust the toe in and toe out with the steering linkages being adjustable. Pivoting onto the side view, you can see the ECU plus the fan combination. On the top is a firewire servo. You'll notice that the steering components is a mixture between metal and plastic. I think it's a good combination. It does look good, especially you'll notice on the steering linkage on the bottom is red. Uh, the top portion has a metal bronze to it. Um, then right coming underneath the steering linkage is the metal dog bone. Then beneath that is a aluminum piece that actually uh, holds the chassis together or more make it more rigid. Here's a rear version of it and you'll notice at the center um, aluminum plate goes all the way across. Once again the metal dog bones. Uh, on the right hand screen is a 550 brush motor Then the same uh, suspension components at the rear. Flipping this vehicle over the one thing you'll notice first of all is a, an abundance of screws holding a lot of the parts together. Also, this, the actual suspension components are kind of thick plastic, which is kind of nice. But also, is the metal plate that goes from front to rear or rear to front, depending on how you look at it. This thing adds, you know, nice rigidity to the chassis, but also protection, especially like over rough terrain. So let's go ahead and do the speed test portion of this review. So I zeroed out my GPS. I'm going to take off here. I needed to do slight uh, steering adjustments. It was kind of veering to the left a little bit. It was after, after I adjusted it, it, it went through. So it was me taking off. Come back around again. No, no issues with the steering. And one more time and see if uh, it will go. A good accurate speed test here. So bringing the vehicle in, I uh, got 24.6 miles per hour, almost 25. I guess you can say it's 25. You round it off. So I want to go ahead and just uh, take it off and want to make sure got a good uh, speed. Once again, holding true straight, pulling it back in, see if there's any difference. <clears throat> nope, still at 24.6 miles per hour. Not be able to reach 25 miles per hour, went ahead and just started bashing this thing around. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. So going with the pros and cons of this vehicle, pros, a good combination of metal and plastic, especially at this price point, $150. I do like the ability to adjust your toe in, toe out in the front and your, and your camber at the rear. I also like the mounting points for the shocks. The shocks also a plus for being anodized red and a shock, uh, shock post to be kind of like that bronze gold color. I also like the body, the red, white, and blue really kind of stands out. And the staggered sizement of the front and the rear wheels kind of gives that that kind of uh, expensive type of look. The negatives. 
uh, has to be that 550 motor. It doesn't really push this too far. As you could tell earlier in the video, 24.6 is not too fast, but still quick enough to enjoy. So um, I just can't wait to rip this around. And if you have any questions, please post it in the comments. Once again, thank you for watching this Dub Audio project. Oh, oh, oh.